More and more frequently, employers and professional recruiters are moving completely away from paper resumes. If they accept paper resumes at all, they convert them as quickly as possible into some sort of electronic format. To maximize your chances of getting noticed by prospective employers, you should make it as easy as possible for them to get your resume into their resume database, match you with job opportunities, and share your information with hiring managers. A plain text, simply formatted resume is the best way to do this. You may be thinking, can't I just use my MS Word resume? Or the one I paid Acme Resumes $200 to work up for me, complete with 3D graphics, multicolored text, and an embedded microchip with videotaped endorsements. I'm covered, right? Sorry, but no. In the age of electronic applicant databases, electronic candidate slates, and all the rest, those resumes may actually hurt rather than help. That's not to say they're unimportant. If you're sending your interest via regular mail, by all means, attach a copy of your professionally done resume. Also, an MS Word or professional resume can be a great starting point for producing a simple, import-friendly resume. Keep the text, but lose the graphics fancy formatting, exotic fonts, and so on. You need a resume optimized for electronic manipulation, not for viewing with the naked eye. Why? Because many of the things that make a resume attractive to the naked eye may actually interfere with the electronic conversion process. If the resume can't be read or isn't entered accurately, your candidacy is in jeopardy. If your resume can't be imported, they may not even know you tried to apply. You get no consideration. And of course, no consideration means no job offer. Sounds depressing, but don't worry. The solution is very simple. You need a resume that can be imported by any employer, no matter how sophisticated or basic their software may be. Your objective is simple to produce a version of your resume that makes it extremely easy for any employer to use. Employer has a state-of-the-art resume parser? Great! Employer has an old, very basic resume import tool? No problem. You will have one resume that any employer can process. Employer has a clerk copy and paste resumes into an online form? Still, no problem. Employers will appreciate the simplicity. And you won't miss opportunities because of technical difficulties. Remember the KISS principle? It applies to resume submission as well. Many times, managers have waited months to get approval to fill a job. When that approval finally comes through, they want that job filled before something, budget cuts or whatever, can derail the hiring process. When that hiring approval finally comes, human resources departments are under immense pressure to produce quality candidates fast. Most go instantly to their existing candidate database to look for qualified candidates and simultaneously begin advertising for new applicants. The significance to you is twofold. First, get your resume in the databases of as many employers as possible and in shared databases that employers have access to through memberships. Second, when that job you've always wanted becomes available, be ready immediately with a human resources friendly resume. You want to be among the first to apply. Employers tend to look for quality of information, not quantity. So keep the resume's format and content simple. Use a format that makes your qualifications easy to submit and even easier for the human resources department or professional recruiter to process. That makes it easy for the hiring manager to evaluate in reference to the open job. Keeping it simple when submitting is really quite easy. Just remember, techniques used to grab attention visually Things like graphics, unique text formatting, strategic use of symbols, and so on can actually be counterproductive. Here are some do's and don'ts that will serve you well. 
don't use headers and footers in your resume documents. Some of the older resume importing systems have difficulty reading information contained in headers and footers. Put all your information, including your contact information, in the body of your document. Don't omit key contact information. This should be obvious, but every week we see resumes submitted without an email address or without the applicant's city and state of residence. Never omit these items. For most employers, the preferred initial contact method is email, and many want to search for candidates by place of residence. So at a minimum, give the employer your name, city and state of residence, and email address. Place each piece of information on its own line. Instead of this, enter your contact information like this. Don't use a two or three column format. Many older systems have difficulty with multi-column formats. So avoid displaying information in a multi-column format. Instead, stick to this format. It's not elegant, but it's easy to import. Unless your current resume is already in a single column format, you need to redo it. That should take less than 10 minutes. Once you have your KISS resume, you're ready to import. You can use the same KISS resume over and over. You can also quickly alter your KISS resume to include or exclude information as needed to tailor the resume to the requirements of a particular employment opportunity. Use white space to separate major sections. This makes it easier for human resources departments and hiring managers to review your resume. Here's another example. This looks just as good, yet is much more import friendly. Let's do a quick review. Design your KISS resume with the recruiter and hiring manager in mind. Use plain text. Most resume parsers ignore things like text color, font variations, graphics, and so on. Many companies will allow you to attach a fancy resume to your basic online submission. If you have a fancy resume that you're especially proud of, attach it when invited to. Stick to one column. Put all your information in the body of your document. Don't use headers and footers. Give employers sufficient contact information. Whitespace is a great way to set major sections apart and draw attention to key elements. Make sure your resume is free of typos and has a nice appearance before submitting. Good luck in your job search efforts. Following the tips in this video can help you get ahead of the competition. Check out the 200,000 plus job opportunities posted on Job Postings Online, and when you apply, be sure to follow the tips in this video.